Hey guys, so today we'll be trying out all the 7-Eleven food we can find in the Singapore 7-Eleven stores and I'm so hungry. Yes, so we are only going to try the microwave food because 7-Eleven has a lot of food. It's different in every country I've heard, so today we are going to try all the microwave food in Singapore. So, let's, let's go. go check it out. We're gonna buy everything, alright? Hyannese chicken rice, uni guri, orni guri, basil chicken, chicken luncheon meat. This is like the best thing ever. I know I'm gonna review everything, but I'm gonna give this a 5 out of 5 and I'm gonna buy two of it. Pizza slice! Pizza slice! Oh my god, this is my favorite hand sanitizer. This is like the best hand sanitizer, man. There is a ramen station. Let us know in the comments below if you want to see us try this. Today we're doing just microwave food. Maybe in the next episode we'll do all the instant noodles. Just focus on the microwave food. Because it's a lot what we have so far. She gave me 10 sets of utensils. In Thailand, they would microwave it all for you, but... Here, uh, we gotta do it ourselves. Let's go home and microwave all of these food. They gave us like 10 utensils. Little did they know, we only need two sets. Um, but we'll share the food with the crew because this is too much. Right guys? Look, the bag is, the bag is broken. So I'm extremely hungry right now and we're gonna try on the first food. And these first few foods are actually cold dishes so you don't even have to make hot. I don't even remember buying this. So honestly, if you're starving, right, uh -huh. you run to 7-Eleven, you don't even have to microwave it for two right. minutes if you don't have time and if you're starving like me. Okay. Potato salad. Uh, honestly, I don't really like potato salad. I love potato salad. Okay. Oh. Oh. Ugh. Oh. 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 I didn't expect it. It's supposed to be nice, right? Wait, is this a prank? That's not a good way to start the video, alright? Woo! So the next one we have is the pasta salad. Mm. It tastes like when you go to a restaurant, right? Or like at the airport, and then they have like that free buffet counter. It's a nap for me. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be quarantined with this. I wouldn't eat this again, especially for the price. It's like two twenty. I don't feel like it's worth two twenty. It tastes like a seventy cent side dish that you end up not finishing. It tastes like free side dish. <laughs> All right, uh, brown rice chicken salad. Um, I think this looks a bit more promising. You want to try? Okay. Mm. This mm. is a yay for me. Generally, I like rice. Oh, it's not too bad. No, but the rice tastes a bit funny. Like it's very hard. I like it. Wow. I mean, out of all three, I would pick this again. Wow, this is good. But why buy it again? I'm not very sure. If I were to rate it, I'll give it like a four, out, four and a really? half. Really? You like five. it that much? I like it that much. I'm gonna buy it again. So the next item we have is the tender chicken breast. Chicken breast. Why, a, why is my different packaging? It's classic oh, classic and yours and is garlic. garlic. I always think that chicken breast is very hard, but touching it, it actually feels quite soft. Oh! That's what it looks like. Uh. For people who like chicken breast, it's like tender. It's tender, uh, but I'm not a fan of chicken breast. Let's try the garlic one. Hey, why are you wait for me? Mmm, nice. Yummy. It tastes slightly better. It has yeah. more taste. And it's only 104 calories, so I guess this is good for people who are watching their calories and chicken breast is healthy. Mm. You know what? If I was starving and that was all I had to eat, I wouldn't mind. What do you mean you wouldn't mind? You have no choice! Uh, I mean, um... It's such a princess thing to say. Moving on! Here we have uh, sausages. It's in a pack of five, six. Uh, I mean, a sausage is just a sausage, okay? No, I would think sausages taste very good. It's mm. a cheese sausage. Oh, it's so good. It's like the high quality sausage. It's not like the, like the cheap ones you buy that are frozen. It's actually like what? Chicken and cheese, but I don't taste much of the cheese to be honest. Will you be quarantined with this? Yeah. Yes, okay. I like it. I'm, not I'm all right. Ooh. Yeah, your name. Will you be quarantined with this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you will be quarantined with this. All right, bring on the next one. All right, so moving on, we have these pizza bars which you picked out. So, shall we try the first flavor, Hawaiian? I love Hawaiian. I think it's I hate like... pineapples on pizza. Oh, it's a little bit bendy. Look at that. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you gotta be careful, all right? So, so the first oh, thing oh, that oh. I... So, what you have to do is this. You like take it out and do this. 
and then you slide it and there's a base. Oh, yay! <laughs> Wait, I got it! Honestly, this doesn't look like a pizza to me. It just feels like um, bread. Mmm! It's nice! It's like soft bread with pizza filling. This really tastes yes. more like a sandwich to me. If you were hoping to get a pizza, this is not it. Will you be quarantined with this? Yeah. It's a nay for me. I'm not a fan. Next stop, we have... Mr. Popia. I don't even remember buying this. Salted egg prawn wrap. <laughs> Yo man, look at this. This looks like you need to go fry it or something. This looks like frozen food. Mm. I just wanted her to eat it first so I can get the skin out of the way. And... Mm. There are three ways to eat. You can microwave it, deep fry it, or toast it in the oven. That's why I said. It looks like something you need to fry. You know what? So far, this is the thing I... Like the least. I just want to forget about it. I just want to forget that I ever ate it. Before we move on to burgers, uh, let's try the last pizza. Now this one is in a better looking wrap. Alfredo's pizza slice, five cheese. Okay, Single you know what? Pizza. The moment I open this, I can smell the cheese. Oh, this looks like a. Pizza. And I'm not trying to be biased. It's not too bad, right? Honestly. <laughs> Pre would you say it's better than the previous pizza? Honestly, I prefer the pizza bars. This is going to be harder to eat because you really have to touch the pizza and like, lift it up. But look at this, I can just eat this like that and hold the box. And it looks like much neater and more put together. <laughs> I tried to be nice! No, you did not. Your face says it off. This is why I don't do a food review show, alright guys. I have no description for it. I just have expressions. And that is why, Aiken, you should stop trying to get me on food cake. Salted egg yolk. This is a burger. From Kitchen Joy. From Kitchen Joy. Mmm, I like it. It's not too bad. I wish they just sold the sauce. I feel like I don't really like the burger. The patty? Yeah, I don't like the patty. I don't like the burger. I don't like the meat. But I like the sauce. It's nice on your first few bites because like the sauce is very strong. So I, and the sauce right here, like maybe that's nice. Maybe that's it's a nice. bit too much if you eat the whole thing. The next one is cheesy beef burger. Actually, there's a chicken one that I always eat. Chicken and mushroom. Oh, yeah? I, there's, I didn't see it just what, what is this? Am I eating beef too? No, I'm eating fish. Fish burger. Okay, uh, I get a boring this. burger. Fish burger is always the most boring burger. Uh, Ooh, oh, it looks good. decent. It looks like fillet of fish, people. No, you know what it looks like? It looks like if we brought like Cindy to Kidzania and then she had to make a filet of fish burger. This is what it would turn out to be. I'm not a fan of the oh. beef burger. It's a oh. bit dry. No, no. No, no. Try that. But keep in mind guys, that this is microwave food. So we gotta judge it based on microwave level. It's not too bad. What I, is I microwave level? I bought this for Cindy level, a few times and she really likes it. Oh yeah? Mm. So we should just buy it for your kids, people. Now, the next one we have an unagi origiri. Onigiri. Onigiri. You keep saying origini. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, please let me do that. I think you'll mess this up real bad. It's very smart because they do it like that so the seaweed, seaweed stays fresh and crispy. Yes, but it's, but just but it's really not hard. crispy. But it's still better than if it were to be soggy, to be fair. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. So here we have tea leaf egg and Hara Harajuki, Harajuku, Henjuku. There was a time where I went to this uh, ramen restaurant and I asked for a half boiled egg and they gave me half a boiled egg. I don't even need to review this but this is the best. I eat yeah. it all the time and this is by far like I, I would dare say one of the best things that they sell in 7-Eleven. Yeah, honestly, when, when I go to 7-Eleven and I I always grab like two bags of these because I know that me and Zihao can finish one Yeah, each. and we're not going to share it. Yeah. Mm. You know Zihao is so spoiled. Like he cannot just eat one item. <laughs> like... Alright, I will just eat the egg as it is. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, okay. I don't just, mind eating okay, an we'll, egg. We'll leave this together for your rice, okay? Exactly, why? looking what? forward. Come sit down. He's looking forward to eating the butter chicken biryani, mm. correct? Yeah, and but I'm getting this. a bit full now. Oh really? Yeah. Shall we bring on the next one? It's a chicken bolognese. So, shout out to Ryan. Okay, I know this is your favourite. 
mm. and you could eat this every day, so we will judge for you if that's true. And this is penne. chicken carbonara penne. Okay, so here we have spaghetti, carbonara, and bolognese. Which one would you like to go first? I would like to try the penne. Let's try the penne. Okay, we gotta mix it around. I remember this to taste better when I was hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that pasta is well cooked. It's not too soft, it's not too hard. Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> You're the worst food reviewer. <laughs> I'm sorry. If I could be quarantined with it, it's a no. Wait, is this the thing that Ryan likes? Yeah. <clears throat> this one's for you, Ryan. Let's try it. Mmm, it's good. It's like Jolly Bee, but less sweet. Yeah, I'm not a fan. I tell you, like, kids will love this. Yeah, kids will love this. So on one hand, we have the curry chicken here and I told the team to also take out the biryani chicken because... Butter chicken. Butter biryani chicken because I think... Butter chicken biryani. Butter bri bri chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Two similar but different food. Same, same but different. One is I the curry chicken. I think this is like Chinese, Chinese curry. Chinese and this is what? This is uh, Indian, Indian uh, cuisine. Alright. Let's uh, try the curry first. No, let's try the, the Chinese one first because I, I really tried this. Curry. And rice. Mmm, mm, it's surprisingly nice. Oh wow. It's good. And there's even like chunks of potato. Rice is really important when you eat curry chicken. The rice is surprisingly good because yeah. I don't know how they um, maintain this consistency in it's very evenly microwave cooked. food. Yeah. Now let's talk about this butter chicken biryani because. Mmm, ah! it's so hot. <laughs> It is by far the best thing. Yeah, this curry chicken is really good. Uh. Biryani, number one. If you want, you can try the curry chicken. But... The curry chicken is good. Like, the fact honestly, that we have it side by side, the biryani clearly wins. So, next up, what do we have here? We have Japanese chicken udon. And... Yaki soba. <laughs> he's gonna say everything else is bad after the butter chicken, like, honestly. It should have been the last because everything else, he's gonna be like, nah, nah. Nah. <laughs> Would not. Would not. Ever again. Yep. Okay, we're gonna try the ramen. Alright, okay. No, it's not ramen, it's udon. Oh yeah, we're gonna okay. try the udon. Chewy noodles with broth made from bonito flakes. Let's bonito flakes. Very salty. Ooh, I like salty. Oh yeah, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. <laughs> I really like the way this fish cake looks. Mm. It's called Naruto, you know? You know Naruto has this on the head, right? Does he? <laughs> <laughs> Would you be quarantined with this? Mm, no. I don't think I'll willingly buy it myself. Yeah? But I mean, if someone were to like bring it to my house, I would eat it though. You, would, you don't hate it? I don't hate it, I don't hate it. But okay. I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we have kimchi fried rice and honestly, I tried this before and I love it because it tastes really good and you can taste like the bits of kimchi like it's yeah, That's one of the better stuff and here we have Thai basil chicken. Honestly, I thought this was cheese but it's not. Oh my god, same. I thought it was cheese but it turns out to be an egg. <laughs> Let's try the kimchi fried rice. It's with chicken bulgogi and seaweed. So the rice they use is not the normal like white rice. They actually use like the short grain rice. Is it yummy? Oh yeah, it's good. It's good, right? Mmm. I yeah. think this is one of the better things. You know that you should eat this with like a hanjuku egg. Let's sure. take it out. Okay. okay, so the egg is really runny and nice, so let's try it. Yeah. Mmm, very good. Well, the fried rice is something that um, I would be quarantined with. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. one of the top three things that I would pick off the shelf. Mm. Thai basil chicken. You know what? I like this, but yeah. I've never seen it at 7 Eleven. The egg really looks a bit suspicious, uh, to be honest. It tastes like a fish cake. Really? It's like egg in the texture of fish cake. Okay, but try the basil. I think the basil is a bit too minced. 
It's yeah, I think it's a little bit. It's, it's not bad. It's not bad. Honestly, I like food that are like means that I get. Like, you get I think it's a little bit too means. I feel like I mean? it, it would go well in an only jury. No, I just like means food that you can mix around. Like, you know the bolognese? Like, you know each mouth you take, you definitely have like chicken inside. Yeah, I'd say yes. Bad. Yeah. I think this comes after the kimchi fried rice. Now let's bring on. I'm getting so a little bit full. Yeah. Damn. Shall we just like go behind the cameras and let Hakim and Daryl do this? So. I'm behind the camera now, and Hakim is trying the what is this, Hakim? Yeah, trying the Indonesian ayam baka. Ayam baka baka is burnt. I don't think this will disappoint you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is that? Is What's that? that? <laughs> He's packed his <laughs> It looks very very wet. Yeah, you know. You try, you try. Yes, no, quarantine. The chicken tastes very plasticy. I don't really like plasticky. it. Plasticky. Mm. Yeah, plasticky. I don't really like it. Yay. It's not that bad. Yay? It's not that bad. It's not that bad for microwavable food. The next one we have <laughs> Mee Goreng. Yeah, I think like being a Malay, right, you always have this Mee Goreng. At the home. yellow noodle. Yeah, like the yellow noodle. So I'm just gonna compare this to my grandma's cooking. No, you can't do okay. that. <laughs> oh my god, it's similar. Really? Means it's good or bad? Oh my god, it's good eh? Yeah, grandma took it from 7-Eleven, man. I think so. Bro, it's good, right? Similar, so similar, right? You know? What? Your grandma, <laughs> <laughs> your grandma cooks me going no, to... They, they have the same grandma. Oh, you're my grandma. Yeah, but it's a yay for me. A yay? Yeah, I will eat this. And Daryl? Alright. Wow, look at the presentation of this. Wow, nice. Uh, wow, good job. Like, it looks better than a kopitiam. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. Alright, so mm. we're going to try the chicken rice now. It really smells like chicken rice. Like, authentic chicken rice. I'd say the chicken is decent, but the rice... It's um, better. Certain parts of the rice that are not actually cooked, it's like hard. Did you oh, try yeah? it? No, I didn't. Mm. I would say overall, it's a good try. It's a good, it's it's a a good, good try. replica. Like, it's a like, good replica. It's uh, if you're really craving chicken rice and like, you have only 7 Eleven, it's alright. I mean, would I want to be quarantined with this? Yes. I think no. No? No? Alright. Let's move on. So, the next thing we have here is a chocolate lava cake. And a lava cake is supposed to flow out when you cut in the center. So, let's see if it really does what it says. <gasps> Does it flow? Yeah! Look at that. Oh my god, I hope this works so next time when you ask for brownies, I can just buy this for you. No, it doesn't work. I like homemade brownie by my wife. Thoughts on the lava cake? Have it with ice cream. It's really good. If I you like can. It. I'm so full, guys. I'm so full. This is my fourth bottle of water this episode. Alright, top three. We're not gonna end the video yet. Briyani. Hanjuku egg, the third one. Yeah, kimchi fried rice. Hanjuku eggs, because it goes well with everything. Number two, biryani chicken. Hey, no, 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 no. Hey, can I have four? Top okay, four. fine, you can have four. Kimchi fried rice and the lava cake. But I thought you like the curry chicken. Can I have five? Okay. So, hanjuku eggs, biryani chicken, kimchi fried rice, curry chicken, and the lava cake. Alright, yeah. These are my favorites. Lava cake. So, that's it for our review of. All the microwave food in 7-Eleven. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We won't be doing another food review for a long time because we're so full right now. So uh, a little bit drunk on the food. Right. So subscribe, guys. Uh, here. Is it here? I don't even remember. Here. And watch our latest video here. I feel like it may be the other way around. Nope, it's not. Good. I'm so full. Like, See, I, yeah. I began the video really hungry and now uh -huh. I'm just yeah. like... Tired. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Bye!